let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil. Prepare to be blessed as you are taught the uncompromised word of the living God by Brother Ryan Hicks. Receive from the Spirit as the truths of God's word are clarified and explained. Hello, brothers and sisters. Today I want to talk to you about what sins are forgiven when you're born again. Now, many people have this pre-forgiveness theology that's not biblical, never taught in Scripture once, and it's this, that they believe that when you're born again, you're forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future. So basically, they have, they have this belief that they have a pre-forgiveness they have, they, have, they have basically a blank check written to do whatever you want, and you're already forgiven. That's a dangerous thing. It's Jude 4 theology twisted. They turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. Where now they are pre-forgiven, they are free to do whatever they want, because they're already forgiven for sins they haven't even committed yet. Think about that. Think about the lawlessness this antinomian teaching that you can do whatever you want, you're already forgiven, you're forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future. But what does the scripture actually talk about? When it mentions what sins are forgiven, there are some verses that actually mention what sins are forgiven. And I'll give you a hint, it never mentions you're forgiven of present and future sins. It never mentions that. Here's what the scripture says, Romans chapter 3, verse 25. Whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Sins that are past. You're not forgiven of present sins. You're presently committed. You're presently committing are sins you're going to commit. The only way you can receive forgiveness is if the sin you've committed a sin and you repent of it. It must be in the past. Any forgiven sins are in the past. You're not pre-forgiven of anything. Now, let's also go and look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 9. And it says this, But he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. The scripture never says you're pre-forgiven of sin. And you'll hear people tell you that. I get a lot of people fighting against the message of holiness, fighting against Jesus Christ because they want their sins. They love their sins so much and they hate Jesus Christ so much. And this is one of the things they, they argue. Well, we're forgiven of all our sins, past, present, and future. And ask them, where does one scripture say that? And they never have a single verse. They may, they may try to twist a few here and there, but there's never a verse that says that. My friends, don't let people deceive you. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you're sowing to the flesh, you're going to, of the flesh, reap corruption. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will of the Spirit reap life everlasting. That's Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. There's no such thing as pre-forgiveness of sins. That is a myth. That is Gnostic nonsense being taught today to keep people in bondage to Satan. Think of this. Does Satan care if you are forgiven or living in sin? Well, he may be concerned if you're forgiven, but what if he has you convinced that you're pre-forgiven? So then it goes out of the realm of actual forgiveness to you have this delusion of being pre-forgiven and having free reign to do whatever you want because you're pre-forgiven. You're one of the elects. So you can do whatever you want. Don't you see how he's ripping salvation from you? You're getting close to the kingdom of God, about to get saved, and then he rips it from you. He steals the word out of your heart because you choose to believe some false teaching that you can do whatever you want. You can continue on being a servant of sin and bondage to sin, not knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, not submitting to him and his lordship, not being in humble obedience to him and truly having a heart filled with love for him that produces the obedience that he commands. My friends, don't let anyone deceive you. There's no such thing as pre-forgiveness of sins. If you're forgiven at all, it's because you've repented and believed the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
and you're now walking in newness of life and the good works that, that God has before ordained that you walk in. My friends, don't let a man deceive you. And don't be self-deceived. Don't think you can just get away with living however you want in this life. You need to examine your heart. If you're living in sin and you have this carefree attitude about sin, which is why Jesus came to save people from their sins, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, then something's wrong with your heart. You're having things that defile come out of your heart. Your heart is defiled. It's not clean. It's not a born-again heart if you're living in sin. My friends, I ask that you examine your heart. If you believe this, I've been forgiven of all my sins, past, present, and future, you need to really examine your heart. Because most people that believe that are not born again. They don't know Jesus Christ. They have religion. They have traditions. They may even have some theology, but they don't have Jesus Christ. They know about Him, but He doesn't know them. And I'm asking you to enter into a true relationship with Jesus Christ, where you're forgiven of your past sins, and He enables you to live right in this life. Where instead of having to have pre-forgiveness of sins, you walk in newness of life, you walk in the grace and goodness of God, and you bring Him glory. May God bless you richly. It is Brother Hicks' prayer that you were blessed by this message today, and he welcomes you to contact him if you require prayer or have any questions about the Scriptures. He is here to serve you and be a blessing to you. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you richly.